Okay, and hello. Okay, hello and welcome to tutorial number 32 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net programming tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover a very useful part of Visual Basic.net programming, which is the application settings. Now, first of all, to explain application settings to you, I've created just three three simple sentences or points on Notepad to try and give us a kickstart. So just let's go scroll over these points. Settings allow the user to customize an application. So that's what settings are for. Using settings is similar to using dim, which is declare. So you can declare you can declare one, two, three as a string, or we can declare one, two, three as a setting. It, you'll understand more as we get into the video. And settings allow you to change and save values. So what we're going to do is first of all we'll go we'll go over what a setting is, how to create a setting, how to use a setting in application, and then how to change a setting. So first of all let's create a new project and we'll call it application settings. And so we're going to have to try and rush through this a bit because we haven't got much time because of the YouTube limit. And go ahead and go to file and save all and this will save your project and we're going to save it to desktop so click browse and go to your desktop if it isn't there now but let's just I'm going to do that now save to desktop as application settings and this will just allow you to access your exe and I'll show you to do that if you didn't know before so now that we've got our, f our form let's say we wanted to give the user a welcome message and um, we'll just put a label there, just add a label from the toolbox and then up here in the form 1, the sort of border here, double click and this will bring us to form 1 underscore load and this is just going to be the code that will be executed when the form loads and here we're just going to say well up here first we're going to declare greet msg as a string I'm going to set it to Welcome to my ownage application. And let's just say on form one load we want to set label one dot text to the string value of greet message. Now this is all basic stuff, you should know this by now. All this is going to do is set the label one text to greet message. So if we debug this and here we have welcome to my ownage application. And now let's say we want to change this greet message. Well first of all we're going to add a button and we're also going to add a text box and the text box is going to act as the string we want to change it to and the button is going to act uh, to execute the code. So change the text on the button to change and just put the text box above it. Okay so double click change and all we're going to do is give the variable greet message a new value. So we're going to say greet mes msg equals textbox one dot text. And what that's going to do is just say, okay, now the string value of greet message is textbox one dot text, which should be the text inside textbox one. And then we need to set it as um, label one dot text. So we'll just type label one dot text equals greet message again. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to build your application quickly. Go to build and build application settings. And then we'll go to the desktop where my folder is located. Open up your folder. Then go to the folder name. Then go to bin. Then go to release. And here's your exe. Now please keep this folder open because we're going to need it during this tutorial. So open up the binary and we'll have welcome to my own application. Let's change this to welcome to the application guys click change and you'll notice that the label changes so now you might think okay that's changed so when we reload this form that's going to say welcome to application guys but you're wrong because it's going to say welcome to my ownage application that's because up here we declare greet message as welcome to my ownage application so that thinks okay that's what the string is so we'll display this so we haven't actually changed it yet so how could we get around this? Well, we can use something called application settings. 
to allow us to change the value and then call it when we load the form. So go ahead and go to the Solution Explorer and I've just deleted all the code inside here you should do that as well. So go to the Solution Explorer right click Application Settings, go to Properties and then down here on the left on Settings this is how you can declare a setting. So we're going to type the name as Greet Text it's two T's there and the value is just going to be the string well, welcome to the app and all this this is similar to declaring a variable it's just going to declare the, a, declare a, a greet text as a string and leave the scope as user and it's going to set it to the value of welcome to the app okay now we have the application setting how do we use it well as we did in the first part of the tutorial double click up here for form one underscore load and we're just going to type label one dot text equals and then we're going to say my dot settings which will say okay we want to use a setting then we type another dot and then just type the name of the settings and in this case it's greet text so my dot settings dot greet text will act set label one dot text the string value of greet text so on form one dot load that is what it's going to be and then if we want to change this simply double click the button and all we all we need to do is say well actually yeah actually it will just do this yeah we'll say my dot settings dot greet text equals text box one dot text it's similar the way we did it before where we just changed the variable to the value of text box one dot text but here we're just going to change change the value of my dot settings dot greet text to text box one so go ahead and build this you must build it by the way you can't debug it and then go to release if we open it it'll say welcome to the app let's change it as poo 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 change and it won't change yet you close it and reopen it and you'll see here that the label one is poo 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 now that's just one way you can use application settings and I'm going to make a video after this explaining useful ways you can use application settings so please watch that and thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you have any suggestions or requests, leave a comment. And please rate the video and subscribe. Please watch part two. Thanks.